Okay. Brief explanation as to why there was no sound whatsoever in the last video. I muted my mic doing something. I forget what it was. And I could not be bothered to re-record. And testing something here. Okay, so my voice should be heard now. Um, I did a fair bit of off-screen stuff. Got myself a Queen of Glass. I plan to use tier upgraded uh, war staff and tier upgraded this. Um, I was trying to exp I was explaining in the last segment that I thought was picking up my voice. Uh, I'm investing way of the spider because I know that devouring cloud is a poison spell and it does a fair bit of poison spell damage too from what I can recall so I'm basically investing in way of the spider to give myself a uh, poison spell damage for when the time comes and when that time does arrive I'll just uh, uh, gamble a magical set of uh, leather gloves and just re-roll it over and over again until I get uh, one with Devouring Cloud. Oh, who would want to remember this place? Um, so Psionic Storm I was S-maxing because it does more damage, although I don't know offhand if, uh, yeah, I don't know offhand if I want to, uh, if I'd want to spend that many points into it. Uh, put a point in Singularity because I, I fucked up. Um, and perfect being I'm going to max I was talking about if I would want to uh, invest in tiefling form because in XVI it would morph your character into a different sprite and you would attack and move or actually you would you would cast really fast but your movement speed would be pathetically slow um But here I see it's just like a little, uh, little, uh, light. Now the bad thing here is it drops your defense to zero. Although it does seem to improve spe my, uh, psionic storm damage by quite a lot. And I've already ever- You guys probably should already know that, uh, psionic storm, this is just a reference to, uh, to Starcraft, the High Templars. And, uh, there's that item called Kerrigan's Chest, which gives a bunch of O-Skill points into Psionic Storm. So, blink. And I'm just going to Psionic Storm up the corridor. Alright. Yeah, blink is so awesome to have. And I do not have Players 8 turned on, because I'm just kind of, uh, going, rushing through right now. And Pew Pew. A.K.A. Limpet Laser. Uh, come on, break the barrels. <laughs> As you can see, Psionic Storm is pretty fucking powerful. And... Dead. Okay, so... At least I don't have to worry as much about, uh... Mana regeneration on Players 1. Now... I know you guys... Now, you guys are probably wondering why I don't just pick up those leather gloves for the Devouring Cloud skill. Um, that's because I have to... The item has to be a certain level before it can spawn with Devouring Cloud. 
so as a result, I can't go with that yet. I mean, I can reroll it infinitely, it wouldn't matter. Because I wouldn't get Devouring Cloud out of it. And, uh, let's bring Tiefling form back. I, um... I was debating whether or not I should, uh, max that or not, and I decided to go ahead and do it, because if I need defense, I can always just turn it off. It's not like it hinders my attack speed or anything. It does give myself a little bit less spell damage, but I'd be fine with that. So, obviously I just cleared the witch tower, or the witch tower that no longer has witches, I should say. <laughs> Mana after kill would be fucking wonderful. I'm going for tier upgraded bone helm because I want, that thing gives bonus energy factor to spell damage and I want as many, like I, I, I want mana regen and that, that does grant me mana regen. And I have, I tested out uh, a Fireball Sentry. It does seem to be pretty powerful though. According to the skill calculator, um, Devouring Cloud does do more damage. But, like, same level, or skill level, etc. Or at least relative skill levels compared to how high I would have it. But at the same time, I don't know if the spell damage I typed into the calculator is per fireball. So I'm thinking... I had thought about using fireball sentry in between uh, last segment and this one. The problem there is I'd have to max way of the phoenix and max that, so that'd be less skill points to invest in, uh, in other stuff I would want. Uh, come on. So, yeah. But don't worry, you guys weren't missing... Um, but you guys didn't miss a great deal of commentary. Last segment, anyway. It wasn't particularly entertaining. Or interesting. Even though... Mainly, I was just talking about the problems this build has with mana regeneration right now. I, I know the Limpet Laser Sin was uh, one of the best builds in XVI for killing heroic uh, shields. And I ran out of Tiefling form. How long does this last? Two minutes. That seems like, oh, actually a little over three. That seems like nothing. Okay, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, the damage, I can already tell, is definitely amplified. Come on. There we go. I've been maxing this because even because it causes more damage, and I'm not sure if I should or not. I probably should, but I'm noticing that with more points I have in this, the more uh, magic damage it gains per base point of energy. Uh, where the fuck is the thing? Oh, 
And this took forever when I did this off screen to get the uh, Catalyst of Disenchantment. You guys definitely aren't missing anything that weren't missing anything there off screen. And I already have that here as you can see. So on that note, I should probably just uh, do all this. And and arcing crystal. So first one, I'm gonna try make the war staff first. Hello. No, actually, I should test my uh s um speed calculator here. I'm gonna open that up. Assassin. Uh, do cross staff and other two hand weapon. Okay, so wait, really? Okay, apparently, according to the speed calculator, it doesn't actually. The weapon I have doesn't actually affect uh, cast speed. Wait, that's wrong. There's. I'll have to look at that later. I'm not going to waste a bunch of uh, recording time on that. And I'm not going to bother going through this. I'm just going to warp straight to the uh, inner cloister. Okay. Okay, get the fuck away from all of those. I will say, though the tiefling uh, sprite was cool, I did hate how fucking slow it moved. And it was slow as shit. Oh, and I hear the power overwhelming sound from StarCraft. Come on. And I just pick up apples for gold. Obviously, if you couldn't figure that out. Come on. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Apple. Put that over there. I did do some uh, research on uh, early game weapons and armor. I can't really find anything particularly great other than uh, Queen of Glass, uh, Tier Unique Bone Helm, and uh, Tier Unique War Staff. So, and uh, Devouring Cloud. So I guess I'm just gonna go with uh, honorific belt and glo or boots. And for amulet, I'm gonna go with them. Um, once I get to terror difficulty, I'll look for a devouring cloud in that too. Preferably a rare amulet with devouring cloud, but um, I'll settle for magical just for the O skill until I find a rare one. And this fucker is annoying as hell to kill. It would help if I had more mana and mana regen. There we go. Holy shit. Will we hear the one line? My guess is no. No, well, we kind of did, although I didn't hear shit of what she said.
Okay, so blink over the wall, catacombs, level two. Oh, wait. I need the waypoint if I'm going to farm Aunt Dariel, which, trust me, I will. I don't know why I'm walking, because my defense is zero, so I may as well just run the whole time. Plus, it do plus I, w I will say this will allow me to run. And I kind of said in the last segment, although not really, because it I wasn't recording sound, that... If my defense is zero, or if my defense is going to be shit anyway, may as well drop it to zero for more uh, spell damage. It's basically the assassin caster's version of a, a static frenzy. More so than ever now, because, again, you're not the tiefling sprite. Oh, and, uh, bring that back. Okay, okay, can you please? Okay, there we go. Yeah, mana regen is an absolute must. Come on now. Here, here be Andariel's area. Not a fan of the delay between activation. Oh God, get out of there. I should try- I should use Fireball Sentry more. This actually does seem to do a lot of damage. At least for right now. If I had unlimited skill points, I would totally S-Max that and, uh, Way of- That and Way of the Phoenix. Okay. Should have done that more in the last segment. I wouldn't have died at that one place. Drink up. Hey, and Ariel. Ready to die? I wonder, do you still have the minus uh, enemy, or do you still have the minus, Christ sakes, minus fire resistance that you had in vanilla? Get the fuck away. Alright, got him. Ah, shit. Wrong hotkey.
Got him. Or I guess got her. All right. Death becomes you, Andario. Indeed. Those, yes. And so obviously I will off-screen farm and Daryl till I get all the tier uniques I want. Oh yeah, and reveal map. Perfect being and tiefling form. Part of the reason I'm investing in a tiefling form is because it gives flat dexterity and flat life. Which, I know the flat life improves with increasing returns per hard point. I don't know particularly about uh, the dexterity, but still, it'll give me all the dexterity I need to wear any staff I want. And, of course, energy factor is always wonderful to have. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fucking... Oh, of course. Of course. You would, uh, you would activate right as I die. Hit recovery is not too good right now. I should probably preemptively, uh, plan for that to happen. By turning off tiefling form. Uh, come on. And I'm glad Psionic Storm's strong enough to one-hit kill everything. At least for right now. Come on, kill the fucker. And are we good? Psychic like stream. There we go. I mentioned I did max this perfect being uh, in the throwing assassin playthrough, but I'll do it here as well because it gives you chance to avoid, and it increases by one and a quarter percent with every single hard point you invest in the skill, which means you want that no matter what as an assassin, especially given that there's no total character defense for assassins anywhere in the game, aside from items, but there's no skills that grant total character defense. 
or flat defense. Every other character ha does have that, though. Or at least by default they do. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here. I need my... I need my mana regeneration. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming uh, Radiman's just here and not over there. Actually, I think he almost has to be. Come on, how many of these bastards are there? Okay, good. Now it's... Come on. Oh, I'm not in tiefling form. Once again, if my mana regen was up, that would be nice. This is so dumb. How many of them are there? Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Took way too long. Now to fire up. Now to kill Radiment. Okay. And I can't max anything I want yet. Okay, so I guess that'll be it for this segment. And I will see you guys once I have all my tier upgraded stuff. See you then.